Hey guys, how's it going? This is James from Butler Farms, and uh, as you can see, I'm down here in the garden, uh, about to get out of the garden. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a little winded. Um, been down here putting the rest of my tomatoes and peppers in, uh, trying to beat the rain uh, that they said was coming today. I sure hope it does now that I'm finished. Uh, they uh, were predicting some rain to come in tonight, and that would be good to water these plants in. Uh, I know I haven't done my expansion garden tour uh, video that I told you I was going to do. That's coming up. I'm working on that now. But one thing about this garden spot that I have uh, down here, uh, I don't have access to water here without running it all the way from the house, which would take probably four or five uh, good sized hoses to even get down here. So I'm very dependent on watching the weather as far as when I set these out. Um, this is. Uh, mid-April uh, and uh, it's time to get them in the ground as you can see I've got some that uh, got a little bit big uh, in the uh, in the cups and um, I had to get them out into the ground and some of them look pretty sad I usually will lose a few um, actually these are greening up nicely um, the shock didn't didn't do too bad on them like I said in my uh, previous video um, that I when I started setting these out I did not get to harden these off sufficiently and so um, I was a little bit worried about that uh, but they seem to be doing okay I do have some extras um, that I can replace them with if they do if a few of them do start dying I thought I was through for the day but over here I noticed that I've got a spot for a couple of more probably won't get done this afternoon probably be something that I'll wait and do uh, tomorrow um, uh, like I said, I am uh, whipped to say the least uh, after getting all this out. So as you can see, I've got four full rows of tomatoes here and then uh, uh, actually five full rows of tomatoes. I think there's 18 or 20 in each row. Uh, so that gives me, um, you know, somewhere around 100, maybe 90 or so. Um, and I've got some more to go. Um, i got a few more spots here, like I just said, and then at the same time, I've got uh, places around the yard where I'm going to put them. More of a gorilla gardening type technique. I'm definitely not going to let them go to waste. If uh, nobody in my family or anybody wants them, then I will uh, just stick them wherever I can put them. Up here above the five rows, uh, you can see I've got two full rows of peppers. Uh, there's several different kinds up there. Most of them are jalapenos. I've told you when I did my seed starting video that I prefer the uh, Craig's Grande from Baker Creek. They do extremely well and make uh, very large uh, jalapeno peppers. I use California Wonder uh, uh, bell peppers and that's what's up here. I do have some sweet pickle peppers. Uh, these are little salad peppers. I have some mini bells up here that are also salad type peppers and a couple of rogue banana peppers that uh, I had some leftover seeds, so I decided to put them in. As we walk on down uh, this way, and like, and just like the tomatoes, I will. I've got uh, several, many of the uh, pepper plants left, and I will set them out in different places. If they produce, they produce, and if they don't, they don't. Um, but uh, I'm not going to let them go to waste. Now this area looks like uh, nothing there, but. Uh, it is planted also. I was able to get it in the ground. Now from where I'm standing, uh, you can see where the tomato plants in and from where I'm standing all the way down to the uh, onion patch, which I really wish they would hurry up and uh, bulb out and mature so I can get them out of the way. I've got Cherokee yellow wax beans. I've never grown them before. Um, anytime I've uh, uh, grown beans, they are uh, uh, contenders or I have tried rattlesnake pole beans uh, I generally like the bush beans I like them to come on in all about the same time uh, so I can uh, put those up and be done with them um, and uh, there's a huge flush that comes on and so you know I get all the beans that I want and they're done and I don't have to keep worrying about them now from where you see about where the um, onion patch starts on both sides of that onion patch and uh, a row or two up here at the top um, are Mississippi pink eye purple hole peas um, and uh, these are our favorite peas that we grow every year like I said in the previous video 
Uh, we still have quite a few in the freezer, so I'm not going as heavy this year. We didn't do beans last year, so uh, I don't feel real bad about cutting back on the purple holes. Like I said, we've got uh, a bunch of it in the freezer. This will um, stock that back up uh, to get us through another year, and it'll also allow us to have some beans because uh, we are completely out of beans. Um, so, uh, like I said, it's been a long day. I've uh, been at it most of the day. I know it doesn't look like much now, but um, there's a, a lot of plants and seeds that have been put in the ground today. And um, we are uh, excited about it. Hope the rain will come in and go ahead and kickstart these up. Uh, I do have to do some work on my fences around. Um, believe it or not, this is just a five foot fence that I've got around here of uh, that you see all the way to the end. I've got a hole down there I've got to fix. Uh, but I've never had trouble with deer getting in here. Uh, I know that they, that deer can jump uh, a fence as high. I've seen them do it, but for some reason they've never done it here. And so uh, we're blessed with that and that we don't have to worry too terribly much about that. You can see where the woods start right down there. And we see deer down here in the holler all the time, but they generally uh, leave the garden alone. They just, uh, uh, they, they don't really mess with it. Down there in the corner, those are uh, my tomato steaks. Uh, they are made out of uh, 3 8 inch rebar that uh, I just buy 10 foot sticks of rebar and then uh, cut those in half. And once you've got them, they're never going anywhere. I got so tired of those uh, little plastic things that are so slick and they bend and this ground gets really, really hard and I can take a hammer and uh, pound on those and they're not gonna bend. And I can just stack them in the corner and not have to worry about them and reuse them every year. And so, um, still got a lot to do. I've got, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I got more plants to put in here. Gotta fix this fence, gonna get my tomato stakes in. Now they're not high enough to tie yet, um, but I'll go ahead and get the stakes in so that I don't mess up the roots when I do put them in. And um, I usually use the Florida Weave. I'll show you that uh, when it gets time to start tying up tomatoes. And, um, but yeah, it come a long way today. I'm uh, pleased with what we were able to get done today. And um, got a lot more to go, but it's on the downhill now. Uh, just waiting on the rain. It's starting to cloud up, so I'm hoping that's a good sign and uh, that we can get some rain in here in just a little while. But uh, I'm a, a finish up this video and uh, like I said I've got the expansion the garden expansion video I'm working on it and uh, gonna give you an idea of what's coming up next the just a short version uh, as you can see this is the end of the garden uh, right here uh, as it currently is this is a 20 by 50 and believe it or not this 20 by 50 that you can see around through there um, is up on a terrace and you can see how it drops off down through there. That's really of no value as far as gardening down through there. Uh, uh, the future plans for that is to put an orchard there and uh, I've got plans for that little spot uh, right over there as well that I'll fill you in on later. But uh, this little terrace, you can see it goes up to that little drainage ditch where my blueberry bushes are. And at one time, my wife's great grandfather had it planted all the way up to that little ditch that goes around uh, through there. All the way around and all the way down uh, to the end right down there. Now I'm not planning on going up as high as the ditch like they used to do because like I said we get almost all of our vegetables out of this one little spot. But I am going to carry this uh, on the flat part on around to the end that you see down there where the hill starts going back up again uh, which was the original garden spot. And that will allow me to expand, um, hopefully, and get into um, uh, you, to what what we can use, uh, what I can give to my family um, for them to use, and then maybe have some left over to either give away or sell. Uh, but just having that in in production would be very helpful. Um, you know, with with the world being what it is and food prices being what they are, the more we can grow and put up, the better off we're going to be. Um, and I'm starting to be able to get some equipment put together that's going to allow me to do that. Uh, but that equipment just came a little bit too late uh, this year to make that a reality. So I'll do that video or finish that video up and uh, 
get it up for you and let you see where the uh, future lies here and uh, and uh, we'll just wait for the rain because that's what we're doing right now um, just waiting to see if it's going to actually come or not so I'm going to leave it with that and uh, I'm going to go sit down for a little while I am tired and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and share I appreciate every single one of you and um, until next time, God bless. This is James from Butler Farms, and we'll be seeing you.